Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about saving you some cash. And recently, we had this cool water system um, installed into our kitchen set, um, and we are absolutely loving it. Nate's here from the Clean Water Center to talk a little bit about how um, installing the system can save you a ton of money. We talked earlier, Nate, uh, last time you were on, about how um, no more bottled water, and that can really add up. I know we go through a lot of bottled water in my house. Absolutely. The bottled water is one of the biggest expenses people have in the house because they're constantly drinking it. They don't trust the tap water. They just don't like the flavor of the tap water. So a lot of people go through bo bottled water. And that's where the drinking water system on your set comes into great play. So basically, you um, install this right onto their kitchen sink, and you've got super duper clean, wonderful tap water right, you know, right out of the tap, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. In most cases, it's better than bottled quality water. It's a very, very clean, great tasting water. I have a pet peeve about ice too. I, I, I'm really into clean ice. I, I can't stand it when you take ice cubes that just aren't fresh and you put them into a drink, and then the drink tastes like the rest of the freezer. Right. Um, so that's where people love your system. Absolutely. You get rid of the white little floaties that are left after you're done with your drink. And the ice is crystal clear, nice and refreshing, just like the water or juice or anything else that you're drinking the ice with. Now, we're talking about saving money today. Uh, boy, laundry detergent is probably the most expensive thing I buy at the grocery store. Um, I was, and, you know, um, detergent for the dishwasher too, you know, dishwashing liquid. Um, mm -hmm. Those things are really expensive. You can spend like 20 bucks for just, a, you know, uh, one, you know, container of laundry detergent. Um, your system can actually help us save money on that too, right? Absolutely. When you are softening water, you are removing a lot of the things that pull soap down. And soap is made to clean. And so in many cases, if you don't have softened water or treated water, you actually have to clean the water before you end up cleaning whatever it is you're trying to clean. Uh, so I actually brought a little demonstration with to show this and exactly what it does. And what I've got here is two vials of water. Okay. One of them is treated softened water, and the other one is regular Green Bay City water. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is a, a green soap. It's a pure soap that's used in a lot of hospitals and stuff like that. There's no additives or chemicals to make it suds up okay. like you find in a lot of the detergents and sure. things. So I'm going to add three drops of this to each. And in a second here, I'm going to shake this up. What I'd like you to do, Amy, is think of each of those drops of soap as a drop of soap, a cup of soap, a box of soap, whatever comparison it is that you would like to use. If I can get this lid on so we don't get water all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to shake these up in a second here, but before I do, notice how the one is starting to turn cloudy and mm -hmm. looks kind of like bath water, mm -hmm. dirty bath water. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and shake these up. Remember three drops of soap, cups of soap, box of soap. And you can actually hear a difference. And when I stop the two, you can see one of them's cloudy, mm -hmm. and now we've got a little bit of that soap scum. And the other one, we've got a, still, a full standing head of suds. Mm -hmm. It's basically looking for something to clean. So what we want to do, Amy, is we want to make this one look like this one. So what do people typically do when you open up the top of a washing machine and they see that there's no soap? Add more soap. Yeah, yeah, add more soap. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to add quite a few more. Start at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're at 15 drops of soap as opposed to 3 drops of soap. Okay. And agitate again. Now, as you see, I kind of start spinning this bottle. There's all that soap scum mm -hmm. that people see on their shower mm -hmm. doors and things like that right. all the time. When I do the same thing with this one, it just slides right off. There is no soap scum, no film left behind. So wow. not only are we saving on cleaning power, we're also saving on cleaning time. Oh. And in many cases, time is a lot more yeah. valuable. Yeah. So go ahead and shake this one up. See if we can get that same standing head of suds. And not quite. They're mm -hmm. there, but if you watch now, the soap is actually being pulled back down in the water by the stuff that's there. So we'll add a few more drops here. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we are up to 30 drops. Get that back on there. All right, and we'll shake it up one last time here. And there we go. There's our standing head of suds. All right. But if you look at the two samples of water. I'd rather take a bath in that one. <laughs> absolutely. I would imagine you'd rather clean with this one as right, well. Right, right. There's a huge difference between the two. 
But we did say this is a cost comparison. So putting it back into dollars and cents. We've got three drops of soap, cups of soap, box of soap, dollars of soap versus 30. That's a drastic difference. Imagine if you can take every cleaner that you use in your house and reduce your soap usage by that much. That's some cost savings right there. And your system, you, uh, you, once you install that, that's the water you're going to be using in your washer and dryer, throughout your house, in your Absolutely. shower. Wow. Um, and it looks like you're going to be a lot cleaner, too. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot cleaner and more money to do other things. All right. Hey, thanks so much, Nate. Wow. Uh, Clean Water Center, if you uh, are looking or interested in, in putting this in your house.